According to mayoclonic.org website, pneumonia is an infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both lungs. The air sacs may be filled with fluid or pus or purulent material, causing coughing with phlegm or pus, fever, chills, and difficulty in breathing. A variety of organisms, including bacteria, viruses, and fungi, can cause pneumonia. This is one infection that some Grenadians are becoming all too familiar with as death hits some families. In an exclusive interview with GBN Today, Senior Medical Officer in the Ministry of Health, Dr. Francis Martin, urged Grenadians to continue practicing proper hygiene as people continue to battle a bad strain of flu. Time of the year, it's not unusual to have flu uh, influenza um, infections very common. The interesting thing is that it seems to be more severe than in previous years and it may have its origin in climate change or other forms of things. But the point is we are in the middle of the flu season. We are seeing um, an increasing in amount of persons having symptoms consistent with uh, the flu. We also have dengue which is also endemic here and we've had a few cases of that as well. Um, but the operational issue is that people have to continue to practice the preventative methods. Um, it is important to understand hand hygiene, uh, cough hygiene, um, basically just keeping your surroundings clean uh, for, to avoid the vectors or the mosquito, as you may see. Dr. Martin confirmed to GBN that there have been recorded fatalities in relation to pneumonia. Um, this year we're seeing an unusual amount of persons with pneumonia um, and some people are actually succumbing as a result of that. So in the process to mitigate this particular action, we are increasing our active surveillance um, performances. We are looking around to different health facilities, ensuring that we collect the adequate nasopharyngeal swabs so that we understand and we'll be able to test to see what, the, what exactly the viruses that are circulating in the region. Fortunately for us, we've had the support of PAHO, who is willing to help do some of the testings for us. So we are in a good place in the sense that we are on top of the surveillance, we are on top of um, trying to find out what's going on, and we're just encouraging persons to take the warnings. Dr. Martin said that statistics in relation to the deaths due to pneumonia are still being processed. Now, the signs and symptoms of pneumonia may vary from mild to severe, depending on factors such as the type of germ causing the infection and the age and overall health of an individual. Mild signs and symptoms often are similar to those of a cold or flu, but they last longer. Parents of newborns and infants are being advised that their children may not show any signs of the infection, or they may vomit have high fevers and coughs, appear restless or tired, and be without energy, or may have difficulty in breathing and eating. Tony Julian, GBN News.